Salute to everyone out there. Hopefully, your week is going well so far, just like mine. Now, I'm a little bit early. Trump hasn't did his speech yet at the border wall. However, I wanted to do some commentary on it off the rip because I pretty much know where he's going with this. Okay. So Trump's border wall is completed. Okay. He said he will complete the border wall. It is completed in his first term. Okay. Now, They're adding on to the border wall as we speak because they asked Trump, okay, it's finished. Should we add on to it? Trump said, okay, and funded the add-ons, okay? Well, of course, it's funded by the American taxpayer, but I think we all can agree that we don't mind our tax dollars going to a project like this. OK. You have a caravan and I want people to pay very, very close attention to what's going on in this country and with this country. So you have a caravan and this is why Trump's and see, this is another reason why people like Trump. They salute Trump. I salute Trump for this move, even though Twitter banned him. Deleted his account. You have the attack on freedom of speech. You have a hit placed on Donald Trump by the liberal media. Okay. And he still went to the border wall. Throughout all the chaos, he went to celebrate. He went to promote his achievements, okay? Because I know you have a lot of people who look at the border wall as the wall of hate, the wall of racism. Not everyone looks at it like that. Like me and many other Americans look at that border wall as a distinction, a separation from Mexico and America. Every, listen, every country has borders. Why is it a problem when America wants to secure our borders? So because I'm in support of the border wall and many of you Democrats are in support of the border wall, but you're quiet as a church house mouse right now because you're enjoying people that you don't like or you don't agree with get their freedom of speech ripped, snatched from them. Okay, so I believe that the border wall, many others believe that the border wall is necessary. Now, you have a caravan. The news, the media is calling it a caravan. I do not call it a caravan. I call it an invasion. So we have an invasion from Central America. Mexico had to send out 4,000 troops, 4,000 troops to its southern Mexico border. You have Cubans, you have Central Americans, demanding entry into Mexico, then into America. They are demanding an answer. Like, wow. Now, I understand that there's famine. There's COVID-19 outbreaks in certain countries where they can't get that much help. It's not equipped like America. Even though America isn't 100% equipped and many Americans don't trust this government. America is still better than many countries as of right now. 
Because 2021, you are in for a show. But the liberal media is calling this a caravan. I even seen Fox News call this a, you don't know what side of the aisle Fox News is on nowadays, but I seen them call this a caravan that's coming towards the U.S. border, the wall. That's not a caravan, if you ask me. That is an invasion of thousands of people who are demanding. They're not even demanding their own government, their own country to do something about their needs. They will travel thousands of miles across the Gulf, across uncharted territories to demand another country to give them entry. And Donald Trump went down there nine days before he is allegedly supposed to leave office. It's not over until the fat lady sings. But he went down there as a symbol of, no, you're not. Whether I'm president or not, this wall is complete. I salute that. This guy has been ridiculed, regardless on if you like him or not. You have to respect the fact that this guy lets his nuts hang. I've been banned. I'm being laughed at all over America, all over Twitter, all over the world, the globe. But I'm still going to come out here, shake hands, wave, give a victory speech and tell my side of this story. Because the immigrants were told, they were told by Joe Biden, if he wins, start coming to America. I'm going to let you in. I've done videos on it. I said Joe Biden and Kamala Harris was going to do this before they did it. It's happening. It's happening. The news is calling it a caravan. I'm calling it a invasion. Because now you're coming into a country that you believe the milk and honey is still flowing. But it has evaporated. Or starting to evaporate. And this is a perfect scenario for a civil war. I mean, you're trying to come into this country and I mean, the hospitals are already full. Like, like what do you expect? Hospitals are telling ambulance in Los Angeles County that don't bring anyone else. They're just going to have to, you know, Whatever happens, they're just going to have to die. We, we don't have any more staff. This coronavirus got us jacked up. On top of immigrants coming here demanding. Again, Democrats and liberals and people who claim they hate Donald Trump so much. But you ask them why they hate Donald Trump. They don't know why. They're not going to tell you that. You're brainwashed by the media. The media conditioned you to hate the guy. He's supposed to be a racist and Joe Biden isn't. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Not saying that Trump is a racist, but this is the main premise on why people well, especially. Well, OK, people said they don't like him. He's a dunce. He's over his head. Well, I mean. He may be a dust to you, but he may not be a dust to someone else. Just like you may like this person, but I may not like that person. Everyone isn't going to agree on everything. 
But the liberals will wish, the Democrats will wish when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris is done with this country, they are going to wish that Trump stayed in the White House another four more years. Because even though there's a border wall, there's tunnels, there's visas, there's loopholes that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris can pull to get that invasion over here. We don't have the room, but they don't care. They don't care. They, 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 they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They don't give two fucks about America not having enough room for another country, another city. This is the size of a, I'm not going to say this is the size of another country, but it's definitely a size of a small city. Definitely a medium city. Ten thousand people can make a city. You have towns. You have cities with with ten thousand people. Imagine eighty thousand, ninety thousand, a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, a million, demanding their way through Mexico to where four thousand troops had to be deployed. Now you have Donald Trump. Nine days before he allegedly is supposed to be giving up the keys to the White House, he's at the border. There's immigration problems worldwide, not just here in America. You have you have places that can't grow crop anymore. There's no clean water. There's no food. There's no crop. There's no cattle. The world is changing. The sea split in Brazil. The sea split in Brazil. You can look this up. So things are changing for different reasons. War. Some places aren't habitable anymore. So people have to migrate. They've done this since the beginning of time. But this time they're migrating. They're migrating to places they believe that the milk and honey is flowing and here in America it's evaporating every day. It's evaporating every day. So I salute Trump. I salute any politician. It doesn't matter if it's a Democrat or Republican, Libertarian, cons I mean, conservative, uh, uh, independent party, progressive. If you have the same view I have on this border and immigration, I salute you. Okay, I, that's something we agree on. We may not agree on everything else, but we agree on that. See how I can, see how I can say that, but a Democrat or a liberal wouldn't admit that, even though they know that, hey, I agree with Trump on that border. I hate him. I believe he's a racist because the liberal media told me he's a racist, but I agree with this racist that we need to keep them from coming over here. <laughs> so again, Trump is at the border acknowledging and promoting his accomplishments. This is an accomplishment depending on who you ask. If you believe Immigrants should come to America because you do have people who believe that immigrants should come and go in America as they please. Come and go from America back to Guatemala to America as much as they please. You know, and then you have other people be like, that. no, you need a visa. You need you need your shots. You need to be checked out by a doctor, a physician, but they're all occupied right now. And now we have 
problems here in America. And now immigrants, migrants are trying to bring their problems in. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I was um, reading a article on Californians mass exodus out of out of the state. And one of the reasons was it's too crowded. Yeah, because of immigration. L.A. is overcrowded. It's overpopulated. I don't live inside of L.A. Okay. That's for a reason. A resource reason. A time reason. Okay. A convenient reason. A lifestyle reason. Because when things pop off, you want to be able to have as much wiggle room as possible. You can't have that in a overpopulated city like LA is going to be a killing field. People will be fighting over resources. Won't be able to drive. That's why I tell people, get you a bike. Don't think these roads will be open. Get you a road bike. Get you a mountain bike. When all hell breaks loose, don't think that you're going to be able to just drive out of here. <laughs> you better have other equipment. You better have a plan A. Plan B, plan C, plan D. And make sure all of those plans, you have a gun on you. Every plan, you need a gun. But that's why these cities are overcrowded and you have people who were born and raised in LA moving out to the suburbs, to the valleys, even Beverly Hills and Hollywood is crowded. North Hollywood is crowded as hell. Van Nuys. Southern California is crowded. So you have a mass exodus. Immigration have a, a huge role in it. Probably the biggest role. That is immigration. And now you have calls to get rid of Newsom. So, I know the media is going to make a spectacle out of this and take his words and twist them like a pretzel, but I'm making it clearer than a glass of vodka that he is at the southern border to send a signal that this country is closed and to celebrate and promote his accomplishments. Since this man's been trashed, He's been cheated off top, man. You always hear people say, I want a source. Where, where are the sources? You'll give them a source. You'll give them a lieutenant general out of the horse's mouth. You can't get a better source than that. <laughs> okay. So we got nine more days and we'll see what else Mr. President have in store, or should I say what the media, big tech, have in store for Trump and the American people. I'm out.